Hello. Um, this is the sixth video. Uh, this is the continuation from uh, the three reasons why we are in the state of anxiety or why we have the uh, anxiety disorder, specifically panic attacks and uh, generalized anxiety and uh, panic disorder. Okay, so panic attacks, panic disorder, generalized anxiety disorder. Okay. Um, this is Jeremy, and uh, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a health uh, professional. So again, still, I encourage everybody, if you feel uh, sick, if you feel bad about yourself, if you're confused, uh, you have to see a doctor to be diagnosed. Okay? Wag tayong magsiself-diagnose, at wag tayong basta-basta naniniwala kung saan-saan because there's criteria kung paano masasabi ang isang tao ay uh, mentally ill, no? But also, alisin din natin yung stigma na pagkit mentally ill ka, eh, uh, wala ka ng silbi, no? Actually, a lot of people are highly functional. Okay, so let's uh, move on. Let's go on with the, the video. So from the past uh, video I did, I told, you, I told you about the three reasons kung bakit tayo uh, nasa state of uh, anxiety, no? According to Claire Weeks. Uh, first is the uh, bewilderment, second is fear, third is sensitized. Okay, so continuation ito ng bewilderment. So, sa bewilderment na yan, again, no, ang ibig sabihin nun, parang hindi natin alam or hindi talaga natin alam kung ano ang nangyayari sa atin. In fact, there are so many people na nagpunta na sa doktor many times at nagpacheck sila sa katawan nila and the doctor said, you are okay, you are perfectly healthy, wala kang problema. Pero yung tao na yon nagtataka siya na, bakit ko nararamdaman to kung wala akong problema, wala akong sakit? So, then again, it goes back to that bewilderment. Kasi nga, nararamdaman, nararamdaman niya yung simptomas, pero sinabi ng doctor, healthy siya kahit wala siya sakit sa puso, pero malakas yung tibok ng puso niya. So, itong taong to, bewildered. At normal yon kasi... Uh, nakaramdam ka ng symptoms and hindi mo naintindihan kung bakit nangyayari yung symptoms but inexplain ko na yun previously sa some videos it is just because of the adrenaline you release okay yung adrenaline na yon yun yung response mo sa fear so yung katawan mo para isave ka sa sa danger naglaba siya ng adrenaline at yun yung nagbigay sa iyo ng lahat ng symptoms sa katawan mo ng mga pangit yung mga nervyos yung heart uh, race yung heart racing, yung uh, thought racing, so, uh, pamamanhid, um, at kung ano-ano pang pangit na simptomas na nararamdaman sa katawan. For you to understand that, that symptom, it's also the same, ilagay natin naman siya sa positive. Di ba kapag um, birthday mo, or meron kang, isang, meron kang bagay na excited gawin, it makes you happy, di ba? Kasi also release a, uh, a mga hormones na or chemical sa katawan mo that makes you happy. Okay? In fact, chocolate, saging, pag kumain kayo niyan, it makes, if, it makes you feel happy. Kaya yung ibang mga depressed na tao, pinapakain sila ng mga chocolate, pero kailangan dark chocolate ito, ha, yung hindi masyadong maasukal kasi masama rin sa katawan yun. Saging, Saging, it makes you happy also when you're depressed. So, kasi yung mga saging na yun at yung chocolate, yung mga chemical yun na kapag nahalo sa katawan natin, it makes us happy. So, same with dun sa negative, yung adrenaline naman, okay? Also, ang adrenaline din pala, hindi lang siya pangit. Kasi that makes you excited also eh. Kasi alimbawa, magpa-perform ka. Ako, I, I sing, I perform, no? I also train, that's my profession. So, that adrenaline kicks that excitement na para gumaling ka, no? So, kaya importante adrenaline din. It's just that, kaya tayo nagpapanik because wala naman tayo sa danger, hindi naman tayo magpa-perform, pero the symptoms are there. At paranoid tayo because nga, we have that disorder. Mali yung pag-iisip natin or we are bewildered kasi hindi natin alam kung ano ang nangyayari sa katawan natin. But explaining to you what adrenaline is and where are the symptoms or where's the where are the symptoms where is the symptoms coming from? Where, where are the symptoms coming from? <laughs> Kagulo-gulo na ako, okay? So, sa adrenaline lang yun, okay? So, with this, gusto ko lang um, magkaroon kayo ng idea para mawala yung bewilderment, yung unang problem dun sa 
sa why we are in that state of anxiety. Dapat maayos muna natin yun, mawala yung bewilderment, mawala yung confusion. Dapat alam mo na, okay, ito yung sinasabi ni Jeremy. Kaya ako nang naramdaman to. And easily, you can let go of that. Kasi pag hindi mo nilet go yun, at nag-feed ka na naman ng negative thought, sisigi ng sisigi yun. Yung adrenaline mo, maglalabas na maglalabas na naman. Okay? So, tensionado ka. So, hindi ka magiging at peace. So, with talking about... Uh, Hindi, siguro kasi 6 minutes na I'll talk about your negative thoughts naman para maiwasan natin, okay? So, that's it for bewilderment. I hope I ha- I hope I'm able to help you kung paano ma pa- paano kayo mawala sa bewilderment state na yan, okay? Kasi may dalawa pa tayong discuss. Okay? Abangan niyo yung next video natin. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being with me. See you in my next video.